So again, our top 10 finalists, starting with Australia. Somewhere in the world right now, a mother grieves the loss of her son, having to do the one thing a parent never wants to do and bury their child. Elsewhere, a woman gives birth to a child who will grow up never knowing its father. A young woman walks down the aisle alone with no father because he was a hero of war. And why? What are we fighting for? What are we killing for? Money? Land? Oil? We need to stop dehumanizing war by making the losses into facts and figures and realize that these people are just like us. They have lives and families and hopes and dreams just like us. And when we consider the war and the loss from this perspective, I ask you, is it worth it? Miss Brazil. Stop the war should be only simple. Just take up tolerance, understand, and a mouth of love. Black or white, gay or strange, Muslim or young, we are all the same. I'm singing. And I want to use the music for spread the messenger of peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Sing with me. I hope someday you enjoy. Miss Costa Rica. No más angustia, no más dolor. De que tengamos las guerras, la violencia. Vengo a un país de paz. Hace más de 60 años no existe un ejército. Las madres no saben lo que es enviar a un hijo a una guerra y saber si vuelve con vida o no. La unión hace la fuerza. Y nunca olvidemos esta frase sabia. Educa al niño de hoy y no castigarás al hombre de mañana. Miss Dominican Republic. To stop the war, we must start by changing our mentality, the selfishness, and the egotistical attitude that many have in the world today. This needs to be recognized and addressed with our world leaders to create a plan to stop this ruthless situation. Countries go to war because no one is willing to listen to one another. The system of power implemented by our government, the avarice and the ambition, it doesn't allow us to sit down with a humble heart and discuss our differences with peace. That is, that is the solution. We must put our pride behind us and start building a bridge that leads to peace. And that starts with you and me. Let's begin. Let's begin this journey by forgiving those who have wronged us and forgive them and live your life in peace and spread the message of love. Thank you. Next up, Miss India. War is regressive. It brings oddly sadness. And we as human beings deserve a happy and peaceful life. So let's together stop the war and cultivate the values of love, peace, 
humanity and mutual respect. Because I believe if you want to see the change, be the change. Miss Japan. Stop the war. Please remember Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They must not happen again. We must work together to prevent ever of the world. Thank you. Miss Philippines. Our ancestors have died fighting for the life we live today. Let us honor that by choosing peace. Peace for our homes, our children, our future. Peace fueling education, empowerment, and understanding. Peace, even in the smallest voice, when multiplied by millions, can transform this world. So join me in one with the world. Please stop the war and choose peace. And Miss Spain. probably will be the most truly worst I've ever seen in my life because I've never been in a country who is in war. I never met people who is in war. But I don't like suffering. I don't like people to suffer. And that's why I know we have to change. We have to all together make a huge change and let's enjoy the path of education and respect to each other. And that way, if we educate children from the beginning, this will be our heroes of tomorrow. Miss Sri Lanka. Coming from a country that was war-torn for nearly 30 years, my family and I have been affected by the horrors of war. My uncle lost his eye to a, to a bombast, my parents lost some property, and we lived in fear to even go to school. Stop the war, to honor those lives we lost in the past, to protect the lives of those in the future, and to save the lives of those presently suffering in it. So please, stop the war. And finally, Miss Thailand. War never keep any benefit to anyone, no matter you become the winner or the loser. Especially people who didn't involve with the war, but they had to get lost and die without any choice to say or fight for survival. We should have the war protest campaign. Although we cannot stop the war, but if we try our best, we can make it better. Please stop the war. Thank you. During the course of the last year, Miss Grand International 2014, Miss Liz Garcia has done some wonderful work for some very charitable causes all around the world. She's been to many countries and done Miss Grand International very, very proud. So, to show some of the work that she has done, please enjoy this VTR together. I'm at a refugee camp today right outside of um, Kobani and we brought some supplies for them. We brought some food, um, we brought water, we brought all the basic necessities as well as pillows and blankets. And um, some people have led us into their homes to see what kind of conditions that they're living in. And it's actually quite unfortunate. We were um, talking to one of the girls that led us into her home and she explained to us that 
They have nothing back there. They don't have um, schools. They don't have hospitals. They don't have anything to go back to. So even though they don't want to necessarily live here, uh, they don't feel like they have a choice because the city has to be rebuilt from the ground up. So this is their, this is their home. right on this stage. But then I realized that I actually needed my heart back because I wanted to take my heart to Cambodia and I wanted to take it to Nepal. I took it then to Japan and I took it to South Sudan and I went and left it in Syria and Kurdistan. And now I want to ask you only one question. Can I have my heart back? because I need to give it to the next Miss Grand International 2015 so that she too may have the courage to fight for the Stop the War cause. So thank you to Mr. Nawat and the Miss Grand International organization for having the bravery to support such a noble cause. And it is because of this that I have decided to stay in Thailand. Kapun Ka. Thank you again to Miss Liz Garcia, Miss Grand International 2014. And please welcome Mr. Nawat Itzara Kraisin, the president of Miss Grand International Organization.
Thank you again to Mr. Nawat Isalak Raisin, the president of Miss Grand International Organization. And of course, thank you to Miss Liz Garcia, Miss Grand International 2014. I'm sure you will all agree she has done us all very, very proud over the last year. Some wonderful work being done by Miss Liz Garcia.